Call of Duty Modern Warfare aims to resurrect the gritty gameplay that once was the high point of this series. Today I'll be giving my final opinions on this open beta and how it stood against the incredible hype that has been stirred up. So without further ado, let's tear into this beta and see if this is the COD game of the generation or if it's going to fall in line with recent releases overall becoming yet another disappointment. As I'm sure you're aware, in my last Call of Duty gunfight beta coverage, I enjoyed the gameplay overall but had some issues with it. The first issue that bothered me was the UI on the multiplayer menu. In the last beta, it was hard to read as if I was trying to find Waldo just to see if I was connecting to a match and luckily that has been fit. Right out the gate, I noticed there were some matchmaking troubles, sometimes forcing my current party to leave so I can reinvite them to get matchmaking to register correctly. This happened frequently but it wasn't a big issue, I'm sure this will be patched on release. Now besides that, matchmaking seems to be better than the previous beta, which is awesome. So with that out of the way, how is the actual game? I'm finding that's a subjective answer. Some I'm hearing from love the game, some think it's okay, some outright just hate it. But my opinions on it, well, let's put it this way. I didn't want to leave the open beta, but sadly I jumped on the beta train a little late and only had one day to experience all the game I had to offer, and that one day was not enough. Even now I'm finding myself eager to jump back on and see how high I could push that kill streak. Maybe it's because I was doing fairly well in most of my matches, but there's just an itch I can't seem to scratch when it comes to the incredibly insane, fast-paced, engaging, fun gameplay. The weapons all feel great. I personally use the MP5 most of the time, which if you didn't know, is actually my favorite gun to use in almost any game. This started when I played Rainbow Six Vegas 2, the first game besides Halo to really get me competing in first-person shooters a long while ago. There's something special too in regards to the handguns in game, and that can be said for the shotguns as well. Now, snipers I haven't personally tried out, but my teammates seem to favor them. Guns overall, they all really do feel pretty good. Some you won't like, some you will like. It's just preference really. There's nothing better than being so close to death yet still being able to turn the tables on your enemies. I think that's what Call of Duty seems to know how to accomplish best. Amazing moment to moment gameplay that can either make you feel a sense of gratifying accomplishment or a devastating deep hole filled with frustration that will eventually cost you a new controller or three. It's been a while since I've felt this way towards a COD game. The old successes of the franchise always made you just want to play match after match until you realize it's been 12 hours and you've wasted more of your life than you would have playing a short AAA title to completion. But none of that matters because you got that K to D ratio up to an impressive degree. This feeling thankfully returns with this recent title at least from where the beta stands. It creates a glimpse of hope in my eyes for the final release. The one thing I could say I'm looking forward to most is definitely the weapon customization. Even though the choices are light, I can see the heavy possibilities of this new gunsmith system. There's nothing better than equipping an MP5 and deciding on many different attachment choices that change up how you use that weapon actually. The progression seems to be well done here, but again this is just a beta and there's only so much we can see. Now you unlock these weapons as you use that specific gun type and can level that weapon class even further to unlock the different attachments including sights, lasers, stock, under barrels, different magazines, silencers, perks, and much more. Now this provides a addictingly fun and rewarding gameplay loop that surely has been missed. Visually the game is very appealing. The kill shots, headshots, body shots, the blood, they all look good. The environments are crisp. The map design varies some are good, some not so much, but they all are technically well designed. I played all the game modes and I really did enjoy all that I played, Team Deathmatch and Domination being the ones I played the most. I do want to see more game modes though, more inventive game modes, I want to see more uniqueness to the table, I want to see game modes that we've never seen before. I'm tired of first person shooters with these cookie cutter game modes, Team Deathmatch, Domination, every game has this shit. We need to spice the gameplay up and add some things the players won't expect. But I doubt they'll really put their time into coming up with some very concise, some really really cool game modes. I could think of a few myself, but then again, I'm not a game developer and I can't put implement those into the game, but still, I would really like them to take the time to make one game mode that is completely different from anything we've ever seen, but maybe that's just me. The time to kill is extremely short here, as I've mentioned in my other video, though for some reason, some people can eat a full clip before falling. Maybe it's from a perk. If so, then I think that's actually an interesting addition. Overall, I had a positive experience, but that doesn't say much. Much. I've got a total of 6 hours worth of gameplay in and players with a higher playtime may have found other issues that aren't immediately apparent. I can say for sure though that this beta has convinced me to take a closer look at the game. I can't wait to see what they do with the campaign but sadly we don't have much info on that aspect yet. Now what I feel about this beta isn't really of importance, it's you guys who I care about. Let me know your opinions, take a second let me know what you think of the game yourself. Did you try it out? If so be sure to let me know what your experience was like. If you haven't played it or don't want to 
be sure to let me know why. I used to be so excited to play Call of Duty when I got home from school with my cousins, with my friends when I was a kid, and I really, really do hope this game kind of can reignite that fire in me. I really do hope. We'll just have to wait until October 25th and see. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be posting many videos. I have a new gaming from the new gaming news from the Abyss video coming out. Sorry, I'm really tired right now. And uh, that should be out, coming out pretty soon. I'll be doing Borderlands 3 content, of course. I have my final review I'm working on at the moment. And many, many more other things in the works. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Credit cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the van, legacies.